Alrighty guys, so just so you know, before you guys watch this video, this video will be next. The new Ryobi versus Makita. Alright, please go to my Facebook group, Ryobi Rebels. We're almost at 19,000 members. Go check out Unplugged Mounts with Matthew Robbins. The link is in the, in the description below. If you're looking for a nice way to set up your tools on your pegboard, this is a perfect way to do it. Alright, so go check them out. Link is in the, in the description below. I'm also going to be doing a versus video soon, pegboards versus drawers. So, hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty guys, so today what we are going to do is we are going to explore the difference between the Hilti Compact Drill Driver versus the DeWalt uh, XR Drill Driver. Alright, now technically this is a compact tool, but it's okay. This is not Hilti's best drill and this is not DeWalt's best drill. So this, both of these are sort of in the mid-range area. Maybe a few notches down, but both of these are fantastic tools and I want to see what the difference is between them because this is my actual first real versus video with the Hilti. I'm excited about this one and I want to see what's going to actually happen. Alright, so the Hilti has a 4 amp hour battery with 21700 cells and the DeWalt has a 4 amp hour battery with 21700 cells in it and we are going to be using both. Both of the batteries are full. And for the Hilti it's full as well. I will show you the specs at the end of the video. So let's uh, just flat out get to it and see how these actually do against each other. Guys, okay, so we will be doing the DeWalt first. Once again, this is model number DCD791. XR drill driver, non-hammer drill. We're gonna do a one inch spade bit first. All right, so right here is good. Ready, go. Aww. Now we're, we are doing a pr uh, pressure treated uh, four by six. What I want this to do is I want this to go all the way down, keeps uh, as far as it can go, keep spinning, then come back up. But I think that's too much for this drill. Time, and it came undone. All right, let's see on how well the Hilti does. It's on drill, speed two, battery is full. Maybe click back one to lock it. See, this one has it. See, if you click back once, it locks. All right, we'll do it right next to it. Right here is good. Let's see if Hilti fails this as well. I'll tone the test down a little bit. I'll go, I'll get a four by four. All right, ready? Go. Time. All right, I'm gonna give DeWalt the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna try that one more time with the DeWalt. All right, ready? Go. Oh, there we go. All right, that's the time we'll use. Because if I feel like the tool could actually do the task, I will give it a second chance, but like, like I did for DeWalt. Uh, yeah, DeWalt, I knew DeWalt can do that, so that's why I gave it a second chance. All right, so first we're going to do the DeWalt with the one and a half inch uh, spade bit on speed two. I do strongly believe that it could do this on speed two with a four by four. Uh, a four by six is a little too, it's a little too deep. So yeah, I've both, uh, I think both of them will struggle with it. So let's do it on a four by four. So right here is good. All right, so is it? Yep. Ready? Go. No, it's not. A little bit too, a little bit too to the edge. Ready? Go. We can do it. Aww. Give it one more pull, just in case. Aww. All right, so the DeWalt failed on that one. I was hoping it can do it, but, but it's, it's a little, it was almost there. I'd say probably a half inch left. Yeah, see it's through. It's through now, but yeah, it failed. All right, let's try the Hilti. Let's see if we can do it on speed two. The speed two, it's on drill. Right there is good. All right, so ready, go. 
Oh, it's the same thing. It stopped. It stopped. Yeah, they, they both failed. They both failed at that. It's through, but both of them failed. All right, this task is, it has to do three holes on speed two in a row, non-stop. I'm not gonna release the trigger, but if the drill stops during the hole at any point, it failed the entire test. Has to do all three holes flawlessly. And then we are gonna time it. Right, so, up speed two, it's on drill. Ready, go. Oh, it failed. This task might be too much for the drill. Give it one more shot. Ready, go. Yeah, I think this task is too much for this drill. We are gonna give Hilti a shot, and if it fails, both of them fail. Like I said, these are, bo these are both mid-range drills. Hilti is a compact drill. All right, so it's on speed two, it's on drill. Ready, go. Up, oh, yep, Hilti failed too. Give Hilti one more shot. Ready, go. Yep, Hilti failed. The task is too much task is too much and like I said the tests I do are hardcore not every tool could perform these uh, not every tool could perform these tasks these tasks are, are severely difficult for them to do and it takes a lot of power to do them all right so let's move on to something a little bit easier for these two to actually compete against them all right so we have a two by four right here uh, we have a two and a half inch uh, Milwaukee holdozer let's see and how well these do with this It's on drill, speed two. So we got the four amp hour battery. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Sorry, I forgot, I gotta be very easy on this. Ready, go. Time. That's what I love about the holdozers is you can feel it through the tool biting into the wood and getting gaining a little friction and just eating through it. It's on speed two, it's on drill. Right here is good. All right, so ready? I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make it stop so it has the same depth. Then I'll go in smoothly after that. All right, so, ready, go. Time. I do not know what the times are until I edit the video. There are the two cores. And I, I do love these Milwaukee Hodozer bits because to take this out, all you gotta do is lift that up, do that, then, then it's done. And to install it, you just lift that up like that. Twist that on, then you're good to go. That ain't going anywhere. And you can do that with all sizes. And so Milwaukee's engineering is fantastic when it comes to these two pieces. All right, for the next test, what we are gonna do is we are gonna drive in one eight inch uh, timber lag each, one four inch lag each, and one six inch lag each. So let's see how, the, how well these actually do. All right, so first we are gonna do the DeWalt. Battery is still full, and uh, none of these drills come with handles. All right, so ready, go. Time. Right here is good. 
it's on drill speed two. All right, so ready, go. Yeah, I feel like the DeWalt got that one. All right, so let's take out DeWalt's. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's take out Hilties. Ready, go. Time. That's, uh, I'm not too sure on that one. I am not too sure on that one. All right, so next let's do a four inch lag. And just so you guys know, I've been using, uh, for a while, I've been using a three eighths inch uh, to a, a quarter inch hex adapter. And this actually is my longest lasting adapter I have. All right, for some reason, uh, this is not torquing out. It's not snapping with impact drivers. And it actually, it's actually very strong and still going, it's still doing well. As you can see, it, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it does have some, uh, some scratches at the surface, but it's actually, it's still working. So yeah, so a three eighths to a quarter inch hex adapter is actually working better than a half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter. All right, ready, go. Did it complete it? Uh, almost there. It did it. It did do it. That is a hard task. And we will see if these can do a uh, six inch lag. All right, next it is Hilti's turn. It's on speed one, it's on drill. This drill is awesome. I love the way that this drill looks. I do. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Ooh, ooh, that, that, ooh, that drove it in a lot further. And so it does seem like it did, uh, the Hilti had a little easier time with the lag. But they both did do it though. All right, so let's take the waltz out. All right, so ready, go. One hand. Time. I might need to reverse this a tad. All right, put it back in. All right, so next it is the Hilti's turn. Ready, go. Ooh. Yeah, the Hilti definitely did have a little easier time with the lag. All right, so next let's test out the six inch lag. Let's see how well these do with that. Right here is good. Ready, go. You can do it. Oh, it cut out. Give it a, uh, another pull. No, it keeps cutting out. Keeps cutting out. All right, so if Hilti could finish that, if Hilti can finish this, then the Hilti won this task. We'll do it right here. All right, so ready, go. Oh, the Hilti cut out. Uh, it has like about a quarter of an inch left. Let's see if you guys can see that. Yeah, see the Hilti has about a quarter of an inch left. It did cut out though. It did not finish the task, but I'll give the Hilti one pull. All right, oh, nope. It did a quarter of a turn. All right, the Hilti did succeed. The Hilti did succeed at that. It took it one more extra pull, but it did drive it in further than the DeWalt. You know, and I gave the DeWalt plenty of chances to uh, redeem itself when it comes to driving the, this lag in further. So we'll take out the DeWalt's first. It's on speed one, it's on drill. 
All right, so ready, go. Powerful. All right, so next let's take out the Hilties. Ready, go. Wow. Time. That Hilti is pretty powerful for what it is. All right, so yeah, so when it comes to these tools, you know, I uh, both of them are great tools. Both of them are uh, very powerful for what they are. Like I said, these are mid-range tools. They Both of these have much more powerful, bigger brothers. And so, yeah, but not bad for a compact tool and a mid-range tool. Like I said, this is the Hilti SF4A22, and this is the DeWalt XR DCF791. And so, yeah, so I love them both. I, I love 21700 cell batteries, which that makes your tool way more powerful, especially 21700 cell batteries that are, have a high amp hour. You know, the average amp hour is like about four, four or five. And so that's when P, that's where companies need to make their, their batteries. So, so I love both of these brands. Both of these brands are awesome, and I recommend either of them. You know, but uh, if I were to choose to use either of these, I would choose the Hilti. I love Hilti's grip on how it actually holds in my hand. And so, yeah, uh, like, the, like the DeWalt does have its benefits, and so does Hilti, and the DeWalt has its sounds, and so does Hilti. So when it comes to this, they're both great tools, and I recommend both of them. All right, so here's the DeWalt. This is model number DCD791, half-inch fully metal chuck, 15-point clutch, plus one, which the plus one is drill, and the max RP, uh, two-speed settings. First speed, 550 RPMs, and on speed two, 2,000 RPMs. This does have a 20-minute work light, so this, this LED light on the base will light up for 20 minutes. You could also have it at half dim for a regular, or you could just have it at very low dim. But yeah, it would be nice to have an option if, this, it, was, if it was this bright for just a few seconds when you pull the trigger. It would be a nice option. And so, yeah, but... This is a nice looking uh, little mid-range tool, like a uh, DeWalt does have a much bigger, more powerful uh, brother, but yeah, but this is not bad for a uh, mid-range tool. So this is the Hilti, the model for this is SF4A22. This has a 15 point clutch plus one, which the plus one is drill, fully a half inch metal chuck. This has two speed settings, on speed one, 610 RPM, and on uh, speed two, 2100 RPM does have a single LED light on the base, which I love Hilti's uh, uh, handle because it, you don't even feel the seam right here. It's flush, and so it's, it's a very nice grip. It's a very nice uh, handle, and I love the way how Hilti balances their tool. It, it feels natural in the hand. The only ones, the only tools that feel natural in my hand are Ryobi and Hilti. They're, in my opinion, those are the two companies that make the best handles. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.